Analytical Sketch Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to implement Sketch Notification in SketchUp. So let's start. So first of all, you have to download an application called iSkit, which is available on Play Store. So I will may put the download, downloading link in the description below, so you can get it and get downloaded. So first of all, you go to SketchUp and create a project. So in this case, I will create it as a sample project. So that's good. Maybe it's like a notification project. That's very stupid. So let's create the project and go to iSkit. So now I'm going to iSkit the application, open the iSkit application and create a notification project. So how to create a notification project is go to these three buttons and create this one notification manager uh, about the library of notice kit. And here are some notification that I have uh, created. So click this add button. Uh, actually fab and select the project that you want to click so in this case is notification project and click and click create and after clicked uh, refresh after refresh it says this one and you just click and it will say app not verified you need to get verified uh, your, uh, your app uh, to your our server to push notification uh, this will take like two to three days if you want to get verified within a day subscribe uh, and okay this days um, if you want to like uh, get within a one days uh, verified you have to subscribe to their channel and get a screenshot of it and uh, just uh, put to their email and make sure if you have already done make sure that put another screenshot and just email and make sure you have put you put the app name and the email make sure you put that then you can they can identify I mean, they can identify um, the app and the user so now let's skip this one and I will wait for uh, the verification so let's skip this one okay, we just skip and the project is verified so now let's go to this project and see this is some project so in here you can create the notifications so for here um, you have to copy the API key just copy it and go to sketch your project and there are some things you have to remind just uh, first of all just go to this row and enable library this one and for the images add an image Call as notice kit underscore icon. Make sure this is the name, else it will not work properly. So now let's put this one icon and done. So now let's add an image. Let's get photos and let's add in this case. I will add this one. It's good. So done. So make sure the name is notice kit icon. So let's go back and go to the components and create. A request network which uh, name as permission so this is needed to add permissions uh, to the Android manifest so make sure you can put any name and don't put anything or request anything with that component and secondly you have to put a share preference named as simple notice kit make sure the words are simple notice kit and notice kit Okay, so this is a sham. Make sure you have to put the exact name, else it will not work the library. So I'm implementing a library actually for the notification for SketchUp. So it was made by myself. By my name is Manish Kumar. So I implement that, and it was hard to make, and finally I made it. So let's go to the on create, and we have to put three, yeah, four actually, four share preferences blocks, and one two. Let's copy this one and let's put this one and share preference so this is uh, sketch new version so make sure uh, this is android x so if i'm if your uh, project is not working with android x so i have set a library also for the live and app compact so no worries of that so first of all uh, the key should be notice kit sorry it should be notice kit underscore capital G E N and underscore capital ID okay so here the value should be HTTPS slash underscore um, JSON box dot I O slash and the API key so just we copied the API code just paste so this is the API key so let's say and you can see here this is the API key we just copied right so this is the API key you have to put after the this one make sure it's correct http colon 
slash slash json dot io slash and the api key so this is the api key and secondly you have to put three things first one is notice kit uh, channel name and the sec third one is notice kit channel id and the fourth one and the most important one is notice kit uid so for the name of the channel uh, shall we put as uh, notification and for the id make sure put as channel id you can put anything here uh, so as this is a tutorial i will put the channel name as notification and the channel id as uh, channel id you can put anything here don't no needs and make sure you don't put space because it will crash the app maybe something and the notification uid is the most important of this library so make sure you this library the uid is an integer and it's unique it should be unique for the app so no one app should be used so no worries you can you just put a numbers bigger than like like this like one two three four five six seven eight eight digits with different type. and this should be unique for your app if you are making different types of apps with the library make sure this code is different and unique so now let's say and make sure it's not decimal or string or letters just numbers integers so the third the fourth actually the fifth um, you had to put the add source to inject the code and in the last block you had to put this one to add the permission of json actually the add the library of json so make sure you just don't put any code inside this or any list map in, in just don't put nothing okay just put add the block and let's go back and uh, after going back let's go to ice kit and select the project go back and this is a project and click that project and put manage project and here go to libraries here and long press and copy inject code so let's go inside the code here make sure you copy it okay let's paste so this is the code don't think about it and don't try to edit it because it will not work the library save so now let's go back and um, let's go to the ice kit application and it will say um, you have to add the manifest so how to add is go to sketcher and run the project for like three seconds one two three and press back and the manifest the manifest will be created and here when this is created so now you have to add some permissions so this one one two three the receive boot complete this is uh, actually for when the phone is restarted the service will be restarted again this one x network and internet so this phone uh, uh, permissions and here is the most important thing so uh, i have made the library for the both um, platforms like Android X and App Compact. So if you are using the latest version of Sketcher, make sure you use Android X. And if you're using the older version, make sure you use App Compact. So in this case, I'm using the new version Android X. So I may enable this one. And if you are using this one, just enable this one. So this will be disabled automatically. So I'm using Android X. So the API uh, level is 28. So done. So now let's run the project. Okay, done so now let's run the project and it's say adding permission and libraries it's, so it's working so now let's wait till it compiles so java is compiling so dx is trying so it means the coding everything is working perfectly so if you have any issues of compiling let me know in the comment section i will help as soon as i can so okay the epic is building so after build uh, i have to tell some things about the libraries so after install um, when you open the app it will come a notification like a foreground notification that you can't disable so this will come only for 7.1 android version above so now my android version is 9 so it will come uh, actually so this is what i'm talking about so this one so this notification um it will come uh, just for 7.1 above android versions like 7.1 10 below that uh, this will not appear so no issues for the users of this so if your app uh, please make sure you tell the user to disable it as soon as you open that so else uh, if the user will not think now it's good for that so keep it there so that's what is how to disable is just tell user to tap the notification and disable so as a, it's a title just say tap and disable notification 
so just tell and tap and disable just say that's it so now you can see the notification is not there and the app is working perfectly now let's go to the services and see uh, whether our app is working in the background so now let's go to system advanced develop option and so running services and our app was um, notification project okay done this one it's working right so it's in one minute that it's working so it's working perfectly so now let's uh, try to close the app close everything actually so let's save the project and most of people say that uh, it will how it works in the background so i will show how it works so everything is closed right so now let's try to push a notification okay now let's push a notification so as i said I go to here dots and notification and we the app is verified right so now let's open it and click this one create notification normal notification so before that i will create tell explain this is normal notification we can implement three notification normal notification big text notification and image notification so here i will put a uh, normal notification just for now so for the title i put as normal notification and for the message say hi and the key so this is key um, is something like um, you can put a key and when it click the notification that value will be come to you can copy or get the value and if you want to go to another screen and show in the database um, you can get the key and show in the database like this part will be explained in my next video so make sure you subscribe to my channel and get notified to get notified over the next video the part 2 so for now I don't have any key so I put as anything so let's push notification and done so make sure um, you read everything there uh, so they say that they, you can't edit or delete um, after you publish a notification so the publish time is like three to five minutes so uh, you can uh, stay like five minutes to see the notification so now i will disable um, this one don't disturb so the notification will come so you have to wait just like five minutes just five minutes maximum time is five minutes after my, before five minutes different notification will come so at the time this time is said because um, if you're using if you 10,000 users are using at the same time the if you publish a notification at a time one second the app will be crashed so I have a set a time so each user gets a, gets a different time then uh, the notification will be working properly but the time is five minutes it, the maximum time is five minutes lesser than will come perfectly so now let's wait five minutes before uh, af as you uh, wait let's try to create a big text notification so this is one and just put as a big text so it will come at the same time different time actually big text and put hi i am the key as anything i don't have any i don't have nothing actually so publish just read this one okay it says okay publish and let's try to uh, publish another one which is uh, big notification test big notification big picture and the url you have to put a url so let's go to google and put a url so i have this is my image from google, google. and make sure it is it is an https because else if it's not with it without s it will not work so let's put any and push notification so if i want to explain this is the image path so maybe it's url it should be a url not a file path so let's publish the project and done so the project is published the notification is published so I'll just leave it. let's wait like uh, five minutes and let's see how it works so now let's delete everything and you can see now there is nothing here right no events so now let's wait five minutes just five minutes so maybe i will go to the services place and let's see how many minutes just the service if the service is stopped or not so so this is working after we started also no worries about that so now you can see done this is working perfectly not the project is running so now let's wait just three two minutes so if you have any issues of this library make sure you put in the comment section so i can help you as soon as i can so now let's wait just few seconds
make sure the notification will come in a different different times if you publish another notification in a different time it will come in a different time so that's just a unique uh, thing of uh, this library and uh, this library uh, is named as notice kit uh, as I mentioned, uh, every variables and share presence was called notice kit, so it's easy to understand everything. So it's not complicated. So I think this is not complicated library, just simple. You can okay, okay done. The first notification came right, the normal notification. Okay right, you can see the normal first one is came right. Okay, uh, I recently closed it. Sorry about that. So let's wait for the second one and the third one, the big text notification and uh, the big picture notification. So for that also you need just like three two minutes that not five minutes the second one and third one will be de reduced actually so my next video will be how uh, what happened when we click that one like if you want to open a firebase activity then that one and if you want to open another thing that one when you click the notification like that okay um, now let's wait for the notification so let's go to the services and it's like uh, six minutes started from the project so now let's wait just some some time it's two or three seconds so minutes so maybe i'm taking the real time because um, so you can understand actually what happens because if i skip um, you will understand what happened the, in the skipping time and what is going on, right? So now you can see there is no recent tabs and nothing and the service is working perfectly And make sure you have you have to tell to, to, to the user that you are going to disable. Okay, big text is game Okay, here you can see big text is come this one and when you click that when You click that it's come to the activity to me and the big picture is okay, right? Done. You can see it works perfect if you click it come to the main page right so and if you click that one it will come to the main page right so my next tutorial will be how to uh, when click close this notification and when uh, click this one close the notification and go to another activity and uh, say what happens so hope you uh, like this video and hope you understand how to implement uh, notification in sketch at the real time one so make sure you add this one and uh, work with this one if you don't understand if you have any issues regarding this library or how to implement please let me know in the comment section so i can explain as i can as soon as i can so please subscribe to get notified for the next video and thanks for watching